Hey everyone, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing the web effect. Um, I'm going to be using three colors and this blue color um, I'm going to have as a background. The background is going to be a little thinner. The, um, the mix I'm using is about 85% uh, Floetrol, 15% water. And let me tell you about the colors. I'm using this Flow Acrylic Artist Loft Gold, metallic gold. And I don't think they make this anymore, which is a bummer because it, it's priced right, that's for sure. Michaels. And the Flow Acrylic Artist Loft Black, right here. And then for this beautiful color, it's Grumbacher Turquoise Green and Deco Art Metallics Peacock Pearl. So it has a little met metallic sheen to it. Let me show you. So it leaves a small trace, a little mound, and it sinks pretty fast. This color is the same color, but it pretty much sinks right away. A little thinner than the others. So I'm going to be using a cup. I think this is a 12 ounce cup. And I'm going to be dumping each one of these in, layering in this cup. And then we'll pour it on, see what happens. So make sure my, I'm going to be using a 16 by 20. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. I have my push pins on the back. I have it taped off. So let's get started. I made sure everything was level because when you use the push pins, paint builds up so you still want to make sure you use your level before you get started so i'll be right back i'm gonna go ahead and put the base coat down okay this is such a pretty blue color looking in my screen it doesn't look like the same thing i'm seeing here anyway let's get started <clears throat> so the first color i'm going to put in is the turquoise Go ahead and pour the whole cup in. I'm going to go ahead and get all that with the stick. Doing it off screen, sorry. Okay, the next color will be black. I'm going to pour it from the side here. Just pour it. It'll probably sink. Black. I'm not worried about that color. And then last is the gold. And black did not sink like I thought. I hope I see things in this gold. The paint might be too old. I'm hoping not because this is a lot of paint. I might have to pick a lot of stuff out of it. I tried to mix it the best I could. So we will see how that goes. All right, let's get going on this. So. What I want to do is make a couple runs here. I'm going to put a lot of it out. Okay. That's about what I wanted right there. Okay. Got some cells starting to come up. And what I did with the other ones, I went ahead, I have extra paint for the base. I'm just going to pour that around just a little bit. Go ahead and use it up. This is a lot of paint. That's okay. Go 
go ahead and get the bubbles. There's no silicone in here at all. I've also done this, if you want to look back at my videos, I've done it with red, black, and silver. I've done it with these colors before. I've used a matte black that gives another type of effect. So let's just see what's happening here. I'm losing a lot over here. I really don't want to, so I'm going to put a stick there. It's just pouring off. Okay. This side too. It's going to go off anyway, but there's a lot of paint. Yep, I'm going to get the web effect with this one. You can see the blue coming through the gold. And I'll probably get some lacing in here. Bring it down just a little bit so you can see. I like this effect over here. I've only used three colors with this technique, um, so I need to do some more experimenting. All right, the messy part. I'm going to go ahead and start tilting. Those cells will open up. You know, maybe I had to torch a little bit more first. just wasn't coming up. Okay. Let's start tilting. I'm glad I have an extra bottle of this gold. If they stop making it, I sure glad I have some. I'll go over here first. This one isn't not moving as much as the middle. So that makes sense. I don't want to lose this, but I'm gonna to have to. Stretch it out first. I can't leave too much paint on the canvas, so a lot of this is going to go off down here. Unfortunately, okay, I'm going to take this corner. nice webbing. I know you guys can't see it very well because of the glare, but that gold just very thin webbing and it just sparkles. Really cool. Okay, I want to come back. So I know silk. So 
Sorry guys, my battery went. I need to change it. Okay, I need to tilt off over here. If I can, opening up, getting a lot of lacing over here. I need to get this off. A little bit. There it goes. Okay, I can bring it back. Try to get this one little spot off down here. Let's see if I can do that. All right. All right. I think that's it. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to turn the lights off. I love it. So different. So the web effect, especially in here. I mean, that lacing and that gold just shimmers. I'll have to bring it down. But I'm going to wait about probably 10 minutes and see how it changes. And um, I will be back then. Okay, it really hasn't changed, which is fine with me. Um, I'm going to give it one last torch. And then I'll bring you down because I know you can't see a lot of the stuff that's going on here. Okay, I'll bring you down. Okay, sorry for the glare. I love that webbing. And I don't know if you can see how that gold is just in between sparkling. Lacing, cells coming through the black. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, by the way, I just scraped almost five ounces off, so I will use this. It's almost like a Haynes Gray color um, as a background on another painting. So make sure you can do that. It didn't make mud. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other web effect videos. There's probably four other ones. Please like and subscribe. Check out my Amazon shop with all the materials that I use or some of them. And my Etsy shop's open. Check it out. Thanks so much. Bye.